Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to using text in Inkscape. And uh, so you'll see the text tool right here, the, the button right here on the left. And I'm just going to click anywhere in the document. And I'm going to write, uh, let's just write, uh, uh, hello world. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in there. By the way, if you have a three button mouse, the kind of mouse that has the scroll, the scroll wheel in the middle, if you press down on that scroll wheel, you can zoom in. And um, if you hold the shift key down, you can zoom out while you're doing that. So just something, just a little tip. In any case, when you write text, um, and if you go back to your selection mode, text can be moved around just like, just like a shape if you were to bring a rectangle out to your artboard. It, it behaves the same way. And I can resize it, and if I click again, I can rotate it, again, just like your uh, shapes. If I were to hold my control key down, I can resize it uh, without changing the uh, proportion of the letters. If I were to just, without holding the control key, I could actually change it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it grow proportionately. And then, um, as long as it's in text mode, I can go back in and change the text. But the minute that I bring it into a path, just like we would on a shape, like a rectangle, the minute I change it into a path, um, these objects now become individual objects. So you could start moving them around. Again, just as you would, I'm going to undo that, just as you would. Uh, a shape. And so I can make, for example, a big H and a big W or something. Um, so keep in mind that, that the text elements are really sort of just like shape elements in that they behave the same way. The minute you turn them into a path, they are just, they are just pieces of art. They're no longer uh, letters, actually. So I can't change any of the, the wording here anymore because these are literally just circles and lines and things like that. Um, the other thing that I wanted a little tip to give you is that when you're moving objects around, you can use the, the arrow keys on your keyboard to move things slightly up and down or left and right. And this is called nudging. And any graphic design program will allow you to do this. And I use these keys a lot when, I, when I'm moving stuff around in precise, in precise ways. Okay, that's the intro to text.